still available. Yeah, yeah. It's um, your assistant. Are you looking for yourself? Are you an agent? So, no, I'm not looking to list it. We're actually looking to buy your house. Uh, so, basically, what we do is we buy houses for cash in any condition, and that's regardless of how much you owe. Um, I think my assistant may have spoke to your wife. Correct. Oh, okay, great. Did I yeah. catch you at a good time? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, have to, I, I have five minutes, so if it can be within five minutes, then I have the time, yeah. I'll try four minutes and 59 seconds. So, uh, Let's do it. <laughs> great, great. So the house seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, she said something about you're still doing some molding and paint or something like that? Yeah, so what we were planning on doing is um, we're just doing some light uh, remod, but it's not really remod, it's really just a couple of baseboards that are going to be replaced. Um, and uh, we wanted to paint uh, some of the rooms just to get some fresh paint on there, and if we were to, somebody was to buy it and we could get it on contract, we would be willing to paint it whatever color they want. Oh, wow. So you do this type of work all the time, huh? Uh, not necessarily. I've, I've, I have done houses in the past, a few. Not, I'm not in, uh, you know, this isn't a business of mine. I just did it, uh, would live there, and then I'm, I would upgrade. And so this is an upgrade for me, but um, I have to move states, so we are selling this one. Oh, wow. Where are you moving to? Dallas. Dallas, Texas. I was there back in March. I loved it. Uh, I, uh, it's, it's one of the favorites. I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good market there. I need to get down there again. So, um, your wife had said that you would consider taking a monthly payment until you were paid off in full. Is that correct? What do you mean? So, yeah, so basically there's a couple of different ways that we are able to buy your house. Um, we're able to buy it outright all for cash. Uh, we're able to do something creative where we take basic, where we uh, create terms where we would be responsible for the maintenance repairs of the house going forward. And uh, we would basically buy your house close to a real estate attorney. Everything is, uh, you know, in writing and everything. We would actually buy the house. But it just, we asked for a little bit of time to get you paid off in full. Would you consider something like that? So we recently done something like that. And uh, uh, by the way, I'm sorry, I didn't catch what company you were from. Yeah, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. St. Louis Cash Buyers, got it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, personally, we've, we've tried different avenues. Uh, I've tried something in the past way to at least own. Uh, it didn't pan out right. And more importantly, uh, unfortunately, it was left a bad taste in my mouth, is the individual um, that I was working with wasn't outright honest. So I kind of just want to, um, I don't want to speak on that anymore, but I kind of just want to uh, sell it. That's really what my intention here is. Yeah, so we're actually looking to buy it. So there's a way we can actually buy your house. And uh, like I said, we close all the deals through real estate attorneys and through the title company here in St. Louis. So basically, um, the only thing is that uh, we would basically just have to take a little bit of time. Uh, let me ask you this. I know she had a, let me see, they asked your wife about how much did you still owe on the house? Um, I'm not sure exactly how much we got. I got like another... Yeah, because like I said, the way we're, we're able to buy the house, sometimes we can actually take over the payment or something like that, to where you're not having to worry about any of that as far as the house here in St. Louis. You can move on to Dallas and go on, you know, go on about life and not have to worry about this house anymore. So like I said, when we buy these houses, there's a way we can buy it where you can, uh, where we can just take over that payment and, uh, We'll be responsible for all the maintenance and repairs of the property going forward, and you don't have to do anything with that house at all. It's not the same as a lease purchase like you may have done before. That's actually leasing the house. We actually want to buy the house. Gotcha. So uh, in my experience, and uh, feel free to correct me where I am wrong, and I don't, definitely don't mean to assume based on how you uh, operate, but uh, my experience when somebody offered me an outright buy like this, uh, they severely underballed it. Um, to give you perspective, about 40000 under ball, I just wasn't even interested. Now, I, I know that the point of your business is to make a profit, but, you know, if I don't sell it at a certain dollar value, I wouldn't be interested purely because of the amount of money I put into it, the energy, the time. And, of course, you want to you wanna make at least a couple thousand on it. I'm not looking to make, I, don't, I would never even make uh, that much money on it, but, you know, that's not what I'm interested in. I just want to walk out with, with a positive. So, 
So I don't know exactly what your expectations are, but curious where you think you would be based on what you saw and what you see at the price. Yeah, so price wouldn't necessarily be a deal killer. Um, when we buy a house outright for cash, all cash, that would be the lowest price, just to be honest with you. When we buy, like, when we just bring money to the table, no messing around, nothing, That's that'll be the lowest price. Now, we can get a higher purchase price when we do one of these type of creative deals like I'm talking about here, where we would actually just take over that payment for a period of time and uh, be responsible for that house uh, and uh, get it cashed out for you in a you know in a number of a number of years usually usually doesn't take that long but we try to get get it cashed out sooner rather than later because that's where we would actually make our money on the deal. Is this kind of like a owner finance situation? Uh, yeah, it would be something considered. Uh, you may have heard of seller financing. So yeah, it's basically you would finance it or you would keep the loan in your name temporarily until we get it paid off in a couple of years or something like that. But like I said, the whole house you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore at all. You wouldn't have to go through a lot of showings or anything like that. Um, we do these deals all the time. There's nothing, you know, a lot of times it's distressed sellers, just to be honest with you, people going into foreclosure, things like that, even though that's not your case. But we can do things to make houses get sold quickly without having to go through listing it and praying for somebody to come along and give you some cash amount. So that's why I say this is a little bit different, but we can actually solve the problem, get your house sold. You can go on to Dallas, live a good life, and not have to worry about this house again. Yeah, um so it'll be uh, as transparent as I could possibly be. Um, I love the creativity. In fact, I think your industry needs a little more creativity like you're, distribu uh, you're uh, demonstrating. Um, and uh, But I, in my position that I'm in and the circumstances that I have in front of me, I'm only interested in just sale and uh, sell it as soon as possible for the most amount of money. So as an outright cash purchase, what is the lowest you think you could accept on it? Well, I don't want to insult you because I agree with you. If you're paying cash, the closing's quick, and you're bringing cash to the table, not like a not a loan with uh, bank's money or something like that. So I can appreciate that. I don't want to insult you, but I wouldn't I wouldn't feel comfortable going cash, uh, you know, final everything no, uh, in my pocket 180, and I can assume that's probably nowhere near where you want to be. Right, right, 180, and uh, is that the best you can do? That is the best I can do. So we ran our numbers, and to be totally blunt with you, my friend, I would make, uh, honestly speaking, with all the improvements and everything that I put money in, new underground piping for the pool, new pump, uh, new HVAC system, remodeled a bunch of bathrooms in the room, and yada, yada, yada. Long story short, I'll probably, and don't call me on the number, I'll probably make three to five on it. Right, so that's exactly why this creative strategy would probably be best for you, just to be honest with you. Um, you know, because that's where we can get that purchase price right up, you know, near or probably right at where you want. So, you know, with a cash yeah, deal, you know. Uh, you've been offered something already? I got already? offered a cash deal. Yeah, I got offered a cash deal last year, and I told you why it wasn't interesting to me because they offered 150 It just wasn't, uh, you know. And I can appreciate that. That's why I said I don't want to insult you. I can appreciate you. Uh, this is your business. This is the point, to obviously, of any business for profit. But I just wouldn't be. I'm not that desperate to sell. Um, and uh, so I'm not in a circumstance where I would be interested in doing just an outright cash. Now, if there's some, you're bringing a buyer to the table. And for example, this is an example. You bring the buyer, um, and we can work out some sort of deal where you can make your commission up to however you work. I'm happy to entertain that. Yeah, so so have you thought about so have you thought about listing this house with a real estate agent? Leasing it with a real estate agent. What do you mean? No, I'm asking. Have you thought about listing it with a real estate agent? Oh yeah, we are. We already have a seller's agent. Oh okay. So so they may list it for you eventually. They're they're planning on that. I went and did this because I also am a creative type and. Uh, I have recently been exposed to an idea um, where it sold in three days, and all they did was post it like this on Zillow and stated uh, when the uh, realtor started reaching out requesting to be the seller's agent, uh, this individual over, uh, replied with, bring the buyer, and the sale is yours. Within three days, the house was on contract. 
Right, yeah, that's usually how we work. We we usually just uh, buy a house same day. You know, we don't really mess around. We just have to, you know, go through title work and get everything closed up. But, uh, I mean, it sounds like you probably have it pretty much figured out here. So, yeah, a cash price, like I say, would probably be a little bit less than you would want to take right now. But a terms deal where we would, you know, if you would take, let that loan stay in your name temporarily for a period of time, we could probably get you right up to where you want to be. You might even make more money that way. In fact, I could almost guarantee you would make more money that way. So, um, two questions before I let's do all three questions. One, where would you be with the cash? Second question is, uh, where did you expect the, the duration of time would be to get me on my asking price? And three is, what is the uh, level of control I have in the words, uh, the market cools or something like that happens? At what point can you be like, you know what, this isn't working out and I'm back out of my contract and cloth? So yeah, so so yeah, that third one. If the market does anything, that's why I said if we were to buy the house, we're responsible for it. It's our baby. You never have to deal with anything. No toilets, no tenants, no termites. You don't have to deal with any problems with the house or roof or inspections or anything. We take the house as is. You won't even have to do that. Uh, that uh, molding and paint that you want to do, you don't have to do any of that stuff. We take the house as is when we buy it, whether it's for cash or on terms. As far as a cash price, it probably will be lower than where you already been offered on it, to be honest with you. I mean, we, we don't typically try to buy them that way unless it has to be that way. We always, you know, try to see where we can get you the most amount of money in your pocket because, you know, even when people buy a house um, and pay off a mortgage, you know, you only get so much in your pocket anyway. You know what I mean? Like you said, you only want to make three to four thousand when you could probably Probably make ten thousand or something on a creative way. You see what I mean? So I want to get more money in your pocket, so your move to Dallas is much more smoother. So, uh, so you said uh, the cash would be lower than my last offer. Second one is, where do you think how long would it take to get me to my? How long till I'm totally rid of everything and I have all that money in my pocket with the the, the term, the lease? Well, it would depends on what price we came up with, and uh, you know, and things like that. Uh, so it wouldn't be a lease. I'm not looking to lease it. Like I said, we're looking to buy it. I mean, I'm we... we to buy it. I'm, I, it's a seller financing. Yeah. What would you, that's what I meant. Would I, would I have to sit for 10 years before I got my asking price? No, no, no. Something like uh, 24 months. So, yeah, we would buy it for the actual price that we agreed to. That number is, the price would be the, whatever price we would agree to. Uh, the actual, your walk away amount... Um, depending on, you know, the difference between your loan balance and what that is, we would have to figure out, you know, uh, what, how long that would take for that amount, because I don't know what that number is. So I can't give you partial information. I don't have all of the facts yet. So that's why I was asking how, about how much did you still owe on this house? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't have that detail with me. I didn't I mean, think I needed to know it. What do you think? It's about 100000 about 70000 What do you think? Yeah, somewhere in between those two. Maybe somewhere closer to the, I, definitely somewhere in there, man, but uh, without putting my foot in my mouth, I don't know, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, that's, and I, mean, then, I put a nice big chunk, nice big down payment down, I, uh, you know, and then, like I said, I put some money into it, obviously that money is just done on a, uh, on credit cards, all that money that I kept putting into the house, so that's all been paid, it's not on any sort of long-term payment plan. Right, right. Well, I mean, so what we, what I could do is uh, give you a couple of weeks, see if you find what you're looking for, and just follow up within about two weeks. you think that would work? Um, so we are, it's uh, coming soon kind of thing. We are already showing it. I, as of today, I have five interested parties. Uh, but uh, you never know. Everybody's interested. Some people, you know. Well, when I come see it, I'm bringing... When I come to see it, I'm coming to buy it. I don't even go to see houses. I go to buy them. There you go. Okay, that so my, yeah. my advice to you, because like I said, I have to, uh, I want to make sure that I have uh, all my ducks in order to get it prepared, right? So I would suggest you wait until the new year and you reach out to me then. I, mean, I want you to reach out prematurely and spend your time, spin your wheels. It's still going to be too early in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. And what was your name again? Garan. Goran, perfect. G-O-R-A-N, Goran. All right, perfect, Goran. And like I said, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. If something changes, if you have any questions, uh, this is my specialty, by the way, is creative deals like this. We can work this out in multiple ways, whether it's a lease purchase, whether it's an outright seller finance deal, whether it's a cash deal. This is my wheelhouse. We do these deals all types of ways, and we try to make it a win-win situation for everybody involved, okay? You got it, thanks. Perfect, thanks for your time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. 
What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> this is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe. And look who we got on the Chris Monroe Show. Hello. Hello. So, yes, this is what's going on. I got him thinking now, exactly. See, I started hitting him with them, them touches. He tried to get me to give him information, but you cannot, when you're doing terms, this is the nugget. You ready for some nuggets? Thanks for those hearts, by the way. When, oh, they must have been giving you the hearts. Was you giving her the hearts or me the hearts? Who's giving them hearts? I don't know. Danger got hearts. Ah! So, the nuggets. I'm going to drop a nugget anyway, just because I like your spirit. You tried. So, um... When you're dealing in terms deals, you got to have the facts. You cannot go into these deals. Look at all them hearts they dropping for you. When you, when you <laughs> making me blush, even though it's for her. So um, when you uh, get these terms deals, you have to have the facts. You cannot go into the deal talking about, yeah, I'll do this much and I'll do this price. You see, I dodge just like he dodged. I already know what you owe, bro. I looked you up. I looked you up. They laughing at you, too. I looked you up. You owe 70000 Matter of fact, I'll tell you exactly what you owe. Let's see. $70,313.50, approximately. Something like that. $70,000. He's talking about some, oh, I don't know. He dodged the question. The wife dodged the question. And then I had to ask him a second time. Then I had to give him that window. It's what do you think? It's 100000 What do you think? It's 70000 I know he's like, damn, how do you know that's seventy? Mm-hmm. That boy creepy. <laughs> He didn't know he was talking to Mr. I stay woke. So I had to let him know we ain't broke. So now they know. So any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. If you want to get information to people that when you're talking to them like this, matter of fact, it's $70,501. I'm going to let you see it. Ploop, $70,501. He tried to be slick. Boy, I know what you owe. I don't do this for no game. I'm a professional. He ain't know he was on the phone with a beast. Beast mode. So, uh, yeah, so when I hit him with that, he was gone. Any questions, comments, concerns? What did you think, Deidre? I thought the call was excellent. You did a stupendous job. Stupendous. That's how we do it, family. So, if you like this video, share it out. There's a little share button right around there somewhere. Share it to somebody who liked this real estate. Like it. Tap the screen. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Subscribe if you're watching on the replay, because I'm definitely going to put this on the replay on the YouTube channel on Chris Monroe STL, what type of down payment would you be doing? Usually we buy with nothing down, okay? See, that's my spill. You've got to watch my other videos and know. Usually we buy with nothing down. I'm not trying to offer anything down. I would put something down, but I'm not offering anything down. Now, if he says we need to put something down, uh, we would say, well, what's the lowest you'll take as a down payment? Five, ten grand, something like that. I wouldn't want to go no more than that. It's a beautiful house, by the way. Don't get me wrong. It's got a swimming pool. Want to see some quick pictures real quick? Real quick. Let me see if I can pull up some quick, quick pictures so you can see how nice and beautiful this house was. Beautiful with a capital B. Let's see here. Come on, house. There we go. There's the front. It's got nice flowers. Is these old, are these the old ones? Are these the newer pictures? I thought these were the old pictures. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, it's not beautiful. It's okay. I like the swimming pool and stuff we got. I can't tell if these are the new pictures or not. Because the pictures on the other thing I was looking at look different. The baby holder. You know, little baby. The baby, your favorite rapper. So, what would you charge the rent to own tenant pirates of down payment? See, all those questions you're asking, S H G. To be honest with you, I don't offer anything. I ask questions. I know nothing. I know to ask good questions and let people answer them. I don't go into any deal offering any amount. I ask them, what is the most you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment? See, I ask that stuff of the tenant buyer versus me trying to come up with an amount. Because you never know. A mug might have 20 G's to put down, 30 G's to put down, 50 G's. Matter of fact, one of my buddies, he got 60 G's down on a lease purchase house like this. What the heck? Can I get one of them checks like that? You never know. Keep on going. So, follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook at Chris Monroe STL. And don't forget to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Yeah, both ends. Everything I do, both ends. I ask questions. I don't come out saying, oh, I'll give you 50000 I'll give you 150000 No, I say, well, I see you. How much you think you want for this house? 150 Hmm, 150 Is that the best that you can do? Hmm. 
Wow. Where'd you come up with that number from? See, I ask questions. Stop going into these deals trying to tell everything. Ask questions. That's the trick. That's the trick. That's your nugget for the day. So, about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.